All right, guys, just doing a quick update on the fusion pellet stove. This stove is uh, developmental. Um, so basically the uh, basic design criteria is that it's uh, self-sustaining. Um, the gravity feed hopper, um, that it doesn't backdraft. I wanted a cook, cooktop surface, so it has a hot plate, dedicated hot plate. Heat exchanger, hot water coil, um, and smoke free emissions, or at least as, as little smoke as possible. And then on top of that, um, we wanted it to produce biochar as a byproduct, so it can be set up to do that. Um, but it also does burn uh, the pellets right down to, to ash as well. Um, when it's set up for uh, charcoal production, there will be a revision added to it where we have, uh, you see this plate back here, there will be an auger drag out that will clean, that will drag the char, pell char pellets out through wall and out to a uh, outdoor container where you can harvest them later. And then this here is a, a great actuator arm, so there will be a great motor. Um, to actuate that. So that part will require power. Um, so basically uh, what we have here for the reactor is uh, we borrowed uh, some technology from the, the engine grade pellet fuel gasifier systems and modified it to draft from a chimney and that's basically what you see here. I um, can't go into too many details because some of it is pr proprietary because, you know, we do need investors to take this uh, a step further, get it UL listed, EPA approved, all that fun stuff. Um, I can't sell it until I do do all those things, and that costs lots and lots of money, so I need investors. This is, there's big patents on this, um, so this could be uh, worth quite a bit, actually. Um... So what it has is a three-stage combustion process. You got your primary oxidation um, zone. Um, that's the primary. Uh, that's the hearth. So we oxidize the the raw fuels, um, strip it down to carbon, and then uh, we, we produce our our uh, raw gases. And then then we have a grate in the bottom. And open this up real quick unfortunately this is going to screw up the emissions but you can see the grate so that's holding up the uh the carbon and then we oxidize the carbon through this intake and that gets it nice and hot for the uh for all the gases to flow through and what that does is uh all the co2 is uh the, the oxygen is stripped out and combined with carbon, we create CO, and then uh, the, the hydrocarbon chains are cracked. Um, we have a water shift uh, converting to H2 and CO, and then so those gases um, are are escaping on the top of the grate, and then here, this is the port for the final combustion stage. So this is burning off those gases so I don't know if you can hear that see some but you can see the, uh, the gas is burning off open this up a little bit so we get it yeah I really wanted you to see that yeah, it just depends on the cycle. That you know, because this does self-cycle. Um, raw fuel drops down, it burns up, drops to the grate, and then more raw fuel drops drops in its place. So what I'm doing here is replacing that cap. Make sure I get this done. All right, so we'll take a look outside. I got a ladder here so I can bring you right up to the chimney. So 
sorry for the shakiness because I don't like ladders. But, you know, up close and personal. I mean, that's clean. So, yeah, we need some help um, to get this thing tested and get it on the market. This here is the RV test manual. This thing's totally off grid. Um, I do a lot of the electronics work in here. Play a little guitar. So, yeah, that's where I'm at with this. Um, this machine here will probably end up in the shop and we'll use it for shop heat. And then the uh, next version I'll be working on to replace it. Um, that'll have a touchscreen interface and uh, I'll be stepping that up to uh, another level. So, again, that's where I'm at. Um, thanks for watching.